Coaches, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eric Anderson. I am the league administrator for the N uh, National Air Rifle New Shooter League and the National Air Pistol League. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, this is your coaches meeting. A couple of logistics to get started. I will try to keep this to about 30 minutes, uh, depending on the questions that you may have. Uh, today's topics are specific to the New Shooter League excuse me, the New Shooter League and the Air Pistol League. If you have questions that are more specific w with respect to Orion, I may have to delay answering those questions until the end or refer you to our support line where we can better assist you. Uh, this coaches meeting is for you, the coaches. Uh, so as we go through, if you need to ask a question, please do so. I encourage you to do so. Again, this information is for you. We want you to be successful. Successful. Uh, to ask a question, please use the YouTube videos chat box. Uh, as we go through, either myself will answer the question during the presentation or towards the end if I need to hold on to it, or one of our moderators will answer the question through the uh, chat box as well. Please note that uh, today's webinar will be recorded and available for offline viewing. Uh, to get started, um, let's review some of the statistics for this year's league. Uh, for both the Air Rifle League and the Air Pistol League, this is the uh, fifth season, and we have kind of a record turnout this year. Uh, the New Shooter League, um, uh, we've had some late entries. We're actually up to 66 teams now in the New Shooter League. This is by far the largest league that we've had. Um, for the Air Pistol League, um, we have 10 teams, always a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And uh, But this is also uh, uh, at least ties a record for the Air Pistol League. So thank you all for uh, uh, joining us in this competition. We do appreciate your uh, particip participation. Uh, for those coaches who competed last year, I uh, want to highlight a few of the differences that we have uh, this year. Uh, first, we are continuing on with some of the uh, uh, management of anticipated disruptions due to COVID. First and, first, first and foremost, that we do need to emphasize that keep your team safe, please. Um, if, you, if your team is affected by COVID-19, unfortunately, it's going to happen to some of us. Uh, please let us know so we can work with you to reschedule our games, uh, so allowing your team to compete. We do want to be able to allow your team to compete. Um, and again, we will work with you as much as we can. Um, if, however, we have to, we will cancel a game if it becomes impossible to reschedule. And also note that we are returning to the eight game, 10 week long season. Another change that we are making with this year's league is the scores are now going to be due Monday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Previously they were due Sunday at midnight. I've heard comments um, from many of your coaches, we've listened to you, and we are now making the uh, deadline Monday at noon. And that's so that if you do need technical assistance uploading your scores, you can do so uh, uh, calling us Monday morning before the deadline. And then, the, then for the Air Pistol League, Specifically for the Air Pistol League, we have changed the rulebook. We are now competing under the CMP Airgun rulebook that just came out about a month ago. And we are also introducing a new junior all-star team for the Air Pistol League. I'll cover both of those subjects in more detail in a few slides. Um, eligibility to compete. Uh, if you are in the new shooter league, uh, three distinctions for eligibility. First, you have to be eligible under the national three position air rifle rules which basically means you have to be a high school age athlete or younger. The New Shooter League is for the sporter class only. There's no precision class. It is for sporter class athletes only. And third, you have to be a new shooter, hence the name of the league. Uh, what, and what this means is uh, your first air rifle competition has to be on or after the 1st of August, 2021, basically corresponding to the school year for many of you. We do make exceptions, though, if you're had if an athlete had competition uh, with BB gun or air pistol or high power rifle, that still leaves your eligibility. It's only if your first air rifle or small barrel rifle competition is before that date. On the air pistol league, 
Um, it is uh, the Air Pistol League is for both open and junior age group athletes. Basically, everyone is allowed to compete in the uh, Air Pistol League. The new uh, junior all-star team that we have announced, it is for junior athletes only. Uh, technically, the term now is U21, under 21. Uh, and again, we'll get into details about uh, specifically what that means and towards the end of the uh, presentation. All right. Um, well, no one has fallen asleep yet. I haven't bored anybody to tears. I do want to take a break and give you an opportunity to check your registrations. And I'm going to send through the YouTube chat box a couple of links. Let me do that right now. Uh, two links, one for the New Shooter League, one for the Air Pistol teams. You know what? That didn't quite come out very clearly, so I'm going to resend those links one at a time. Give me just a moment. And I ask you, the coaches, to take a moment, click on the appropriate link for your team, and check your team's registration. Did we, do we have the correct spelling of your team name? Do we have your, uh, as the coach, the correct spelling of your name? And also take a look at the bi-week requests. If you requested a bi-week during the registration, we should have it listed. Please note, though, that some of you who registered early, there was an error on the website that said you only get one bi-week. That is incorrect. Each team gets two bi-weeks. So if you only register for one bi week, you would like a specifically a second one, uh, you may update that information as well. All right, uh, again, uh, I'm going to continue with the presentation. There are a couple of questions uh, that are coming across, but I will try to address these as we move further down the presentation uh, where we have a slide specific to this information. All right, uh, the season. Uh, the season is broken up uh, during these spring leagues into two parts. Uh, first, the preseason. The preseason is going on now, and it goes on through January 23rd, basically Sunday. The preseason pre is your opportunity as a coach to participate in a league-type game without your scores counting. Not required, but especially for the teams who are new to the league or new to Orion, strongly recommend it that you participate in the preseason. The regular season starts on Monday, and it goes for 10 weeks. During the regular season, your team will be matched up with one other team during the season each week that we, that we call a game. Uh, now, every team gets two bye weeks during the regular season. And, and the bye week just means you're not competing that week. Uh, so it's a 10-week season, eight games. Each week you'll have one game or a bye week. Now the games, as I mentioned, there's one game each week. For the purposes of the league, that week is defined as Monday through Sunday. You'll be able to download the game from Orion on Monday, and you have the opportunity to compete uh, through Sunday. Your team has to shoot um, that game uh, by Sunday. The scores, however, are due mon the following Monday at noon. For the new shooter league, the course of fire is a 3x10 scored in decimal governed by the national standard three position air rifle rules. On the air pistol league, the course of fire is 60 shots and is governed by the new uh, CNP air rifle and air pistol competition rules. For those of you who may not be familiar with the new CMP Airgun Rulebook, it only came out about a month ago. Um, it's basically the ISSF USA Shooting Rulebook, but applied uh, with revisions for American styles of shooting. That's all it is. Again, basically ISSF USA Shooting Rulebook, uh, but with some um, changes specific to American styles of shooting. All right, um, all games during the uh, uh, season will be virtual, and what that means is your team will be competing from your home range, and the team that you're competing against that week will also be competing from their own home range. And through the magic of virtual matches and Ryan's technology, um, the scores will be combined on the internet, and it will appear like you're competing next to the, the you know, team each week. 
Um, all scoring will be done electronically. Uh, so if you have an Orion system, you'll be using Orion. If you have an EST system, you can use ESTs and import the scores into Orion. All right, um, very important. As a coach, one of your responsibilities is to schedule the time for your team to shoot each week. Uh, and there's always a few questions about what, what, what does that really mean? And again, uh, for the purpose of the league, you have from Monday until Sunday to shoot. Now, let's say in a hypothetical example, you have four members of your team in what you see on the slide in front of you. It is perfectly legal to have two of your team members shoot on Tuesday for the league and the other two team members shoot on Thursday for the league. That's perfectly fine. And of course you can practice as much as you want as well. Now what's not allowed is for your team member to shoot multiple times for the league and trying to count the highest one. That will get your team disqualified. All right, now let's talk about the scheduling of games during the regular season. Something that we call dynamic scheduling. I'll tell you what that means here. For the first two weeks of the league, the schedule is completely random. The first two games that you can be compete in the first two weeks is completely random. You could be squatted against the best team in the league, you could be squatted against the worst team in the league. It's random. But starting in the third week, the schedule uh, is based on the results from the first week. The fourth week schedule is based on results from weeks one and two. And this pattern goes on towards until the end of the regular season. And starting with that third week is when we start deploying this dynamic scheduling. And the way that this works is we try to match teams up of relatively equal skill level. Now it's not perfect, it's never, never going to be perfect, but it's pretty close. But what we do is we use your team's league points to match you up against another team of relatively nearly equal skill level. But there's a couple of things during the schedule that we have to contend with. First of all, teams have bye weeks. So sometimes, because they have a bye week, we can't schedule them. And of course, we also try to maintain what we call a diversity of competition. It would be really, really boring if the best team in the league and the second best team in the league competed against each other week after week after week. So we try to mix it up some. Now, please recognize that we do try to avoid repeats in the schedule. We try to avoid you having to compete against the same team twice during the season. Now, it could happen, and especially in the Air Pistol League where there's fewer teams, but we do try to avoid that. One other note is that Teams that have two or more DNSs did not start, we do stop scheduling, scheduling you for future games. It's just not fair to the other teams in the league. All right, rankings. How do we rank teams for the league? And like I said, we use something that we call league points. What the league point means is it's your team's seasonal average, straight up average, plus what is in effect bonus points for each win that your team gets during the season. On the New Shooter League, a win is worth 10 points. For the Air Pistol League, because there's more uh, shots fired, it's 15 points. Zero points for a loss, and then there are, in effect, penalty points if your team has a DNS, did not start, or strict penalty points if your team gets a disqualification. One of the keys to success, pr participate every week. Do not take a DNS. And of course, we have some uh, tie-breaking rules if, by chance, two teams have the same number, have the same league points. All right, how to participate? Um, there were a few questions uh, at the start of the presentation uh, about this question about the uh, uh, instructions and range command commands manual. So let me address uh, <laughs> these topics all at once. First, uh, for those of you who have not watched it on Excuse me, for those of you who have not watched it, we do have a YouTube video on how to participate in a league game. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, uh, please check out our channel, download it, and watch it at your convenience. Please note, though, that it is over a year old, so some of the details are a little dated, but for the most part, it's very accurate. Second, uh, we have the range command scripts available uh, for all teams. And I'm once again going to pause for just a moment to provide links to both the New Shooter League Range Command Manual and the Air Pistol League Range Command Manual. All 
And again, uh, they are provided in the YouTube uh, chat box for you. If you haven't downloaded it, the range command manuals, they do provide the instructions on how to compete in the league. Uh, please take a moment to do so now. And I also know that we have provided uh, these links in, uh, in our emails as well. All right, some important notes for competing. Uh, please note that your game will be released each week, Monday afternoon after 12 o'clock. Um, when you do compete, when you are ready to compete, if you're using paper targets, please hand out the targets just prior to firing. Uh, we do encourage you to use our barcode labels. Uh, there was a question about whether or not you can print uh, barcode labels onto a PDF and then print them later from that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I know people have done that in the past. Uh, so yeah, hand out targets prior to firing and then collect targets after each stage specifically in the uh, new shooter league collect targets after prone collect targets after standing and of course collect targets after kneeling once you have competed and once you have uploaded your scores it is very important that you take the extra step to verify that the scores got uploaded correctly you can do this Inside of Orion, uh, there is a globe icon. And once you have submitted scores, go ahead and click on that globe icon. Your web browser will open up with what we call the game page. That game page will list your team and the team you're competing against. And because you just submitted scores, it should have your team scores listed. If something doesn't look right, take a moment, try to figure out what's wrong. If you need assistance getting the scores correct on that game page, please give our offices a call so we can help you out. Keep in mind that once again, that this page will eventually list the team you're competing against their scores as well. Now they might not have shot yet, so they may still be listed as zero. That's not a big deal. What's important though, is for you to pay attention to your team scores. On Fridays, to let everybody know, we do send out an automated email letting you know of the scores we have for your team at that point of time. So if you're competing and you have shot and you get this email on Friday and the scores don't look correct, again, pause, take a moment and try to figure out why the scores didn't get uploaded correctly. If you can't figure out, please contact our offices so we can... Um, please contact officers so we can assist you and again you know if you get this email on friday and your team hasn't shot yet yes it's going to say that we have a score of zero for your team uh, but that's because you haven't shot yet and you still have until sunday to shoot and you have until that following monday to turn in your scores I have said this multiple times already, and I'll probably say it a few more times during this presentation. Uh, it's very important that all coaches recognize that scores are due Monday at noon. The league moves very quickly. If you are having technical problems, that Monday morning is your last opportunity to contact our support team to assist you in getting the scores uploaded. Uh, once, you know, Monday at noon, a lot of things happen. We calculate the results for the week. We create pre press releases. We send the press releases out. That is why so it's so critical that all of us work together to submit the scores by that time period. During the regular season, it's inevitable that a few special circumstances will pop up. Uh, scheduling conflicts is usually the big one. Uh, earlier in the presentation, I asked each of you to take a look at your by week requests, if you have them, you don't have to have them, but if you do have them, uh, please submit them early. Uh, if you have submitted by week requests, we will honor those at this point. But as we go through the league, if you need another the week off, um, the sooner that you can let us know, the more likely that we can honor your request. And if you wait until after the fact to ask for a bye week we probably won't be able to honor your, your request so if you do need a week off maybe you have a spring break maybe uh teacher work holiday what have you all that's fine but please let us know so we can work with you to accommodate that the sooner you can let us know of your bye week request the more likely we can honor them if there's a circumstance where you have two games in a week and this would only 
happen with a schedule change. This won't happen under normal circumstance. But if you do have a schedule change where there's two games in a week, please note that you have to shoot twice separately. You can't shoot once and ha have it count twice. And of course, if there's some type of extreme condition that happens, let the league administrator know so we can work with you. Um, we have had in the past, uh, usually caused by weather or unfortunately COVID, uh, had had to cancel games. We try not to. We try to work with you to allow you to compete, but please make a note that if need be, we will cancel games in extreme circumstances. All right, uh, let's talk about the fun part, awards. All right, uh, every team will get, on the new shooter side, you'll get a, a poster. We are working to get those printed right now. Uh, for the air pistol teams, uh, economics of scale, uh, it's actually, uh, we will print out banners for your team. And then every athlete will also receive a participation pin and elite sticker, league sticker for their rifle or pistol. And we're going to try to send those out as soon as possible, but we are physically printing the posters right now. They take a little bit of time to, to get queued up. It might be a few weeks before we can get th those sent out. Please be patient with us. For the post uh, competition awards, the New Shooter League, uh, this is one of my favorite things that we, that we do for the New Shooter League, is the criteria for winning awards at, at the end of the season is actually three different criteria, and you have to meet two of them. Um, and every team that meets two of these three criteria, we provide awards for. The first criteria is competition. You have to win five games or more. Uh, second criteria is participation. If you participate in all eight games, you meet that criteria. The third criteria is to show improvement. And we'll talk about what that means specifically in a few slides. Um, but what's really neat about this is even if your team is new to shooting, you have a new program, um, you still have the real possibility of earning awards at the end of the season. You have to participate and you have to work hard to improve. But if you can meet those criteria, you'll get awards at the end of the season. For the Air Pistol League, it is m more focused on competition. And we were providing medals and banners for each of the top four teams at the end of the season. All right, for the Air Pistol League specifically, uh, as I announced earlier, we are introducing a new uh, junior all-star team. Uh, the junior all-star team will be for the top four junior uh, air pistol athletes. Uh, technically, the term is U21 now, under 21. Uh, to be qualified, uh, you do have to be under the age of 21 on the first age of the regular season. Uh, and the uh, uh, average is based on the season average from the eight games dur during the season. Uh, for the uh, four members who are will be recognized as members of the Junior All-Star team, we will be providing plaques, pla plaques for you. And uh, finally, uh, coaches, we will be needing your help to identify who on your team, if any, qualifies for that uh, Junior, that U21 category. All right, uh, for the new Shooter League, I mentioned um, the three criteria earlier about winning awards, one of which is to show improvement. And I want to demonstrate uh, how we calculate that uh, criteria. So you have your eight scores for the league. We drop the lowest one, and then we use what in Excel they call a line linest function. And what that calculates is points per game improvement. And the minimum points per game improvement to meet the criteria is five points per game. And it's very, very doable if you uh, uh, take the time to practice outside of the league and work, work hard for your team. Um, as a reference, the Air Rifle League last season, the te teams on average improved 9.4 points per game. All right, uh, next thing up is press releases. So one of the things that we're trying to do with the league is to not just promote the league, but promote the sport and help you promote your program. So each week we generate press releases. We always send it to the coach. When you registered, if you, excuse me, if you registered, uh, if you provided links to uh, uh, local media, we're also send that press release to, to the media. And those uh, press releases go out a Monday afternoon. Once again, right after the deadline, this is why it's so important to get your scores in uh, so that press releases are correct. All right, 
as I mentioned, we send these links to the media. And oftentimes the local newspapers, um, uh, school newspapers will ask for photographs. We think this is a great idea, but we're happy to provide those photographs to the media, but we need your help in doing so. Uh, so coaches, uh, please in the next week or two, get your team together if possible, have them wear your team's clothing or school's clothing and take a photograph. Uh, coaches, you're welcome to uh, join in on the photo. Uh, send them into uh, league at ryanscoringsystem.com. Fortunately, you still have to send them by email. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll take that uh, photograph, we'll put it up on our website, we'll put it up on your team page. And if requested, uh, we'll hand that photo off to members of the media. All right, uh, team coaches, here is a list of some of your responsibilities. Should be obvious, you are familiar, you are responsible for knowing the league program and knowing the league rules. If you're paying attention to this presentation, you pretty much met that. Uh, you're responsible to conducting your games each week according to the rule book. National standard three, posi three position RFL rules for the new shooter league, the CMP air gun rules for the air pistol league. You're responsible for scheduling each game within the time frame of the week. Again, that's Monday to Sunday. Responsible getting your scores uploaded by Monday at noon. You're responsible for the correct use of Orion. We here at Shoots Technologies, we're responsible for teaching you how to use it, providing the tools to teach you, but you're ultimately responsible for knowing how to use the system. If you have questions, give us a call so we can assist. And of course, if something happens during the regular season, an outstanding circumstance, if you need to reschedule a game, if you have a weather delay, we understand that those things happen, but we don't know those things automatically. Please contact us so we can work with you. And of course, finally, perhaps most importantly, you're responsible, responsible for the honesty and integrity of your team. All right, coaches. Um, one of, I think this is pretty neat that we do this, uh, allowing, allowing coaches an opportunity to communicate with each other. Um, Monday or Tuesday, after the regular season starts, we will be sending out uh, your co contact information to all the other coaches. The purpose of sending this information out is to allow you, the coaches, to, com to communicate with each other. Wish each other luck prior to each game, provide congratulatory notes after the game. Uh, coaches, certainly we respect your privacy. If you do not want us to include your contact information, we will respect that. Please let us know and we will leave your name off that list. Also, because this is private information, I ask each and every one of you to respect this information. Use it only for the purpose that we are providing it. Wish each other luck. Congratulate each other for, for their performances. And finally, some hints to succeed. Please recognize that uh, teams are partially ranked by wins and losses. So the first hint to success is to compete every week. Avoid taking that DNS. DNS is a negative for you. Compete every week. Part of that though is making sure that your scores get turned in and correct. So once you have shot, make sure they get uploaded correctly. And remember, scores are due Monday at noon. That Monday morning, if you have technical problems, that's your last chance to contact us for assistance. Second hint, hint is don't get discouraged if your team drops a game or two at the start of the season. Uh, a win at the start of the season counts just as much as a win at the end of the season. And I've seen this so many times. The way league play works is it favors teams that work hard and improve. The teams that start out great are not always the teams that finish great. The teams that ultimately win in the league are the teams that improve. So keep that in mind. Use the league as motivations for your team to come back and practice during, during your off days and work hard and get better. All right, uh, that is it. That is all the information that I wanted to convey. Uh, there were a couple questions as we went through here that are kind of specific for, uh, looks like, um, um, uh, jersey instructors. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have this information. Um, I'm not a JRC instructor myself, uh, but um, we will, in as best as we can, try to get this 
questions in with respect to your continuing education units. We're not affiliated directly with the JRC programs, uh, but we will try to get the information as best we can to you. So with that, uh, coaches, uh, for those of you who are going to be dropping off, thank you for joining me today. The league starts on Monday. We will be announcing the schedule for the first two games on Friday. I wish each of you the best of luck. And uh, if there are any, excuse me, if there are any questions, uh, please use the uh, a chat box once again to uh, answer your questions. We'll do our best to uh, um, use the chat box to ask your questions, and we'll do our best to answer the questions. And um, uh, with that, like I said, if you're going to drop off, thank you for joining us today. Uh, but otherwise, I will stay on the line a few minutes and to see if there are any questions. All right, once again, coaches, um, excuse me. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And if you do have any last minute questions, uh, please use the uh, chat box. If you have questions after the fact, our contact information is up on the screen in front of you. Best thing to do for help is to contact our offices. We have uh, both a telephone number and email address listed there. Um, again, I don't have any further questions. doesn't look like anything is coming through. Um, thank you again for all the support. Thank you again for all of your participation. We have record numbers this year. We're very excited about it. And once again, the league starts on Monday, and I wish each of you the best of luck. Uh, a couple questions that came up with respect to uh, uh, bye weeks, specifically for the first week of the season. Um, I certainly understand, uh, as we mentioned, uh, we're trying to work with each of you. Um, COVID is unfortunate reality. Uh, we are doing our best to work with you to make sure that you do have the opportunity to compete. Um, for this particular individual, uh, we will look your team up and try to arrange to make sure that uh, you have at least the first week off. If you need more than the first week off, um, uh, again, just let us know as soon as possible. Um, we, do our, we do our best to um, um, accommodate you. Uh, but yeah, certainly we will um, uh, look your team up and uh, give you that first week off because uh, we, sh you know, you know, COVID is terrible and uh, we want you to remain safe.